everyone, it's Sahara. Thank you so much for sticking with me. It's been a pretty busy semester, so that's why I haven't been posting much, but it's actually almost over. I'll be done with my final semester at Pepperdine University in mid-December. So I'm gonna be moving out of the storm back home for a few months. I've already applied to grad school and I'm gonna make a video just talking about my overall experience at Pepperdine. Before I do all that though, I wanted to show everyone what a life in Pepperdine University as a nutrition student is like. So come along with me for this week and I will show you how I live at Pepperdine. Hi guys, <laughs> it's been like a few weeks since I've come back from Chicago and to be honest with you, I chose the worst week to film my life at Pepperdine because that just so happened to be the week before my finals, which is called dead week. So just to kind of make up for the lack of content I might have during this week, I want to show you and give you kind of just a rundown of how my semester was. So this semester, I basically had four classes that were only either available in the fall or I just had to take in order to fill my GE credit. So those four classes were Mandarin 2, which I still had to take despite me not being able to go to Shanghai my sophomore year for study abroad. I took a metabolism class, which was essential for my nutrition major, microbiology, and then a food service management class. I kind of dreaded this semester in all honesty, just because microbiology, metabolism, and Mandarin are all relatively hard classes in my mind. Mandarin's a language and I haven't taken Mandarin in two years, to be honest. Um, microbiology is interesting, but I just knew it was a lot of content. And then metabolism, it's just a lot of memorization and learning of pathways with different vitamins and minerals. So that all scared me, but I actually did better than any semester so far. I had all A's and then one B in microbio. So I manifested good grades, everybody. But the week before my finals is called dead week. Some classes still have new material that we learn, but most of the classes is just kind of like final presentations, final studying sessions, things like that. So it was a relatively chill week, but it was kind of stressful to make sure I had everything I've learned in the past two months. Most of my finals were cumulative, so that's just already a lot of information. And for all four of my classes, it's just a lot to take in. But yeah, that finals is over and I am officially graduated. But for now, let me just show you what I have in the week that I spent studying and making sure I had all the information on my finals. So I hope you enjoy. I apologize for the lack of content, but I hope that it's enough for you to kind of get an overall sense. Okay, so today is Sunday and I've actually been sick for the past few days, so that's why I'm congested, but I definitely need to study for finals. So I have my metabolism worksheets going on here, and I also have my kombucha, and I'm honestly just going to get right to it and start studying. I didn't study as much as I wanted to, but I was sick, so I'll give myself grace for this. Honestly, this material was stupid hard, and I'm surprised that you even did so well on this exam. Like, look at these diagrams. Too much. Afterwards, we went to the supermarket to get some groceries. So, I just want to show things that I got. Here's my little pantry situation. I got some Cheez-Its, and I'm going to need them for studying. Um, this is unrelated, but I'm probably going to make something around this either today or tomorrow. I got a huge box of ramen from a TikTok shop, and I'll show it really shortly. This is just the curry one, but I have these other eight. I originally had a carbonara one, but I did eat that yesterday. It was pretty good. Very spicy, but good. Besides that, I also got a tomato soup, and then also this Thai curry sweet potato lentil soup, mostly just because I'm sick still, so I want soup. And I ended my night by watching some Trash Taste and reading this volume of Sacramento Days. 
Monday was pretty chill. It was my busiest day. I have all four of my classes, but I also work in the Genesis lab with 3D printers, so I printed these things out for our Christmas event. And honestly, I just did a lot of studying after this. Nothing crazy. Good morning. <clears throat> it is day two, Tuesday, and it's 9.20 a.m. I have class at 10 a.m. It's microbio. Normally, I would see the Zoom lecture, but there's a mini quiz today, so I'm gonna go to that. And yeah, it's gonna be a productive day. I had another work shift at the Genesis lab today, so I just made sure that the sticker machine was functioning properly for a job, and I also worked on my microbiology final project, which is a presentation about probiotics and kefir and yogurt with a few classmates. And I ended the day with some ramen and then watching one of my favorite YouTubers, C Dog BA, one of his VODs on YouTube. Yeah, so all in all, a super productive day. I'm really happy. So I had a presentation today, the presentation I was going over yesterday about yogurt and kefir. I think it worked pretty well. I have to get about 8 a.m. for it though, so that's fantastic. But I'm gonna work on some studying. And then, yeah, it's gonna be a productive night. Girl! <laughs> I don't know about this. I mean, I'll have it, but... You have to get all the tomatoes. No! <laughs> oh, yes. One more thing. I did go to my professor's house for dinner because she was hosting it. So I got to eat her lovely dog and her cat. And we had some good food. And there's also a free fly infestation. So, yeah. We had to kill them, but they're like all on the lamp. And they're also like all dead on the table. It's absolutely disgusting. But it's just because it's so season unseasonally warm here that they come in through the vent and then we have to deal with it. So So today I wanted to make my sweet mates a little surprise gift because I am leaving and they have one more semester. So I made these little letters, hole punched them, put ribbons so I could put them on their doorknobs and tried to use tape at the end. Yeah, so I didn't really film that much today because I just had work. I showed you the envelopes that I made for my sweet mate. I came back. I tried this Bulldog Ramen. It was the corn one. Not really my favorite. And then I just watched the new Jujutsu Kaisen episode with my friend on Discord. And yeah, pretty, pretty relaxed today. Oh my god, my hair is a mess. So today is Friday. And honestly, I really did not have any time to record because I was just busy right off the bat. I had work, I took an extra shift, so I was working on 3D printing this Catan board for the one professor. And then my friends and I went to see the new Ghibli film, The Boy and the Heron. I would honestly give it like a 7.5 out of 10. There were some parts that were like kind of confusing, but all in all, animation style, beautiful. I love how Miyazaki paints his plot through the images and just, just, just see the movie. I really can't describe it. And now I'm here, I made some tea and I'm gonna study. And yeah, that was basically my day. Sorry I couldn't get like any footage. This video is a mess. But Today's Saturday and I am basically moving out in a week. So I needed to do my laundry. This is our laundry room. It's relatively small. We have some washers, some dryers, but it does get kind of busy. I then went to Whole Foods and I really needed kombucha. So I got like a ton of that and also those yerba mates or yerba mates. I actually don't know how to pronounce that. I had a sandwich as well from Whole Foods and I really needed to study because my first final is on Monday. I've got my tomato soup because I was still kind of hungry and now I'm going to try to start to clean out this dorm room since I'm moving out. As you can see I have a lot of boxes. I'm really trying to clean out everything but we'll see how it goes. I have all my food. See my room just looks like a huge mess right now but I know by the end of this I will be ready to go. So yeah. That was my week at Pepperdine University. As you can see, it's pretty busy, but 
I really enjoy it quite a lot, and it's kind of bittersweet that I'm ending my final semester here. So let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions about nutrition or Pepperdine University in general, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to get notifications. You should always click that bell button. And yeah, have a great rest of your day or evening, and see you soon.